weep, grana weep, um, ninny bong, and welcome back to my channel. And today I will be mostly talking about Cyclonus. But before we go into all the Transformers or Cyclonus news, let's talk about Ramen Toy. Yes. Ramen Toy, not Ramen Toys. They have recently released their release schedule for 2022. And we can see a lot of good things coming, mostly focusing in on Silverhawks and 80s Commanders, better known to you and I as the Centurions. But there is two things there right at the end that do hmm, get me a little bit excited. The Great White, I think, is Ma 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 Mask, and Red Gullwing? We'll come to that just before we get to the Transformers news, but I think that might be. They have also been showing off the triple pack of the Centurions, the 80s Commander. You can see all of them together in one pack. Really, really cool. The box art for this is phenomenal. And if you're one of those collectors that doesn't open their figures, then this will make a beautiful display on your shelf they also showed off hacker the insides of hacker anyway where we can see the motor and all those kind of things he's looking lovely in his blue but the thing that got me the most excited is actually the silverhawks that i've not commented on at all because i'm not that interested in them however when they did this test they mentioned magnalock magnalock means starcom and now the news, don't touch that dial. Kicking off today with the world of Fun B Studios, who have a wonderful faceless worker drone here for you from the G1 episode, the key to yours truly. So, yeah, very nice looking worker drone. Again, the great thing about Fun B Studios is they give you all of the things that Hasbro aren't going to, and these are 3D printed, so you can print them out at home, and with them being 3D printed, it means you can scale them up and scale them down however you see fit. Very nice addition to anyone's shelf. We then move over to the world of DNA. So DNA are coming with some upgrade kits for your Galvatron. Whether it's the toy colored Galvatron or even if it's your lovely, lovely Poiple Galvatron who's halfway through the change, then they've got all the upgrade kits you need both of these look fantastic uh upgrade kits really nice little addition just add something a little different to this figure um i really still want to pick up this purple one it's on sale at kapow at the moment and i'm really thinking hmm maybe vectron lab also released teaser 2 april the 30th is coming and then we'll be able to see a little bit more about this project but we still don't know if it's real. They also got hacked this week. Yeah, they were also hacked and said something about maybe it was a different company. I remember seeing it was a hand with a screwdriver. It's all very weird. There's some weird stuff going on at Vectron Labs. Keep an eye on them. Thanks to user J66. 2002 on Badoo, we got to see some pictures of Magnificent Mecha MM01. This thing is beautiful. It's a really great looking figure. Highly, highly, highly detailed. And I do think that this is a prime sculpt that keeps growing on me the more and more i see of these kind of prime sculpts from the bumblebee movie the more i like them um i can't wait to see what comes from the new transformers 7 movie because this is way better than anything that bay did so i hope that this style of prime continues this one comes with so many accessories guns hands and a wonderful display stand as well also comes with extra pipes to add a little bit of height on those pipes i think they come in two different sizes also the head has some beautiful baby blues which every prime should have some baby blues or some baby yellows um also highly detailed as you move through the figure i think what i like the most about this figure is it looks like there is no way there's no way that this is going to be able to transform however 
yes, this figure does actually change from this version into an alt mode, which is super, super, super impressive. And you can also see that it has some strength here. It is holding a screwdriver out to the side. However, I will say you can't see who's holding on to the end of that. So <laughs> I don't know exactly what the strength is like on this figure, but this is it in its alt mode. So yes, it does transform, which means, hmm, maybe, maybe I'll get it. It fits my criteria. MPH Studio showed off a few new pictures as well this week, and this is of their take on a beachcomber. So we can see he is highly, highly articulated and really nicely sculpted. The downer for this for me is just those pins in the wheels. I really don't like these wheel pins on these smaller figures. He is super small very very small you can see he's next to like a mini usb there so he is really small also next to a zippo lighter don't go too close to that uh, maybe his arm already melted because he was stood too next to that zippo so who knows what happened to his other arm there uh, of course this is the prototype so potentially it just fell off but this is him in his alt mode i have to say maybe it doesn't exactly fit together as snugly as you would like but again this is just a prototype um, it does look a lot like the dr Wu type stuff uh, but maybe just holds together a little bit worse they did also release this video so you can see the transformation for yourself obviously i've super sped this up but yeah it's okay is it better than dr Wu? i don't know fans hobby have now been showing off the full color take on the energon prime now this is something that in no way there's no way that this is going to end up in my collection whatsoever but i do think it's a beautiful looking prime and if you are a fan of transformers energon and i know a lot of you are then you must be super super excited for this um something i did want to bring attention to though i think they showed off two new modes for the trailer here or one new mode open and closed i didn't realize they were going to be doing like this kind of garage for the minicons i didn't know that was happening looks pretty cool one fans hobby figure that will definitely be winging its way into my collection though will be this version of Double Dealer. Yes, yes, all day yes. You can see it's a lot bigger than Cab as well so that's made me happy. I actually wish Cab was about the same size as this one. Super happy with everything I've seen so far. I don't believe I've had a proper look at the robot mode yet, but so far the prototype of the birdie birdie eagle thing and also this Russian rocket launcher type affair. Loving it. Cannot wait for the release. Moving over to Fans Toys and they showed off Dead End uh, as a prototype. They need to release it. Looks like it's pretty far in the distance for all of you waiting to complete your collection. Also, if KO fans toys stuff is what you're looking for at the moment, then this is Hurricane. So this is, I believe, is the KO uh, Cyclonus that people have been talking about. I think the good thing about this one is it has the IDW stylings as well. So if I was to pick this one up, he would stand there in his idw standards i don't actually own the fans toys version um and this one does look good um i haven't even seen the price point on it and it's quite hard to find this one online to order as well because i know fans toys have, have put this kind of if you stock it we won't let you stock us type thing out there as well let me know your thoughts on this one and also let me know if you've seen it anywhere up for pre-order maybe i've just missed it on show z or something but let me know because yeah I may, may have a little dabble in this one, but something that did kind of make me think, and I know this is probably a prototype, but 
there is, seems to be a lot of challenges with the paintwork on this one. Yes, I know it's probably a prototype. Or do you think this was the lights in the studio? To me, when you get closer and closer, they do look a little bit like fingerprints in the paint. Hopefully that's not um, the shape of things to come from this. If you thought we were done talking about Cyclonuses, you were wrong because we got some in-hand images of the new age Cyclonus that I've been talking about on here for a while now. This thing looks great. Look at it. It is Tony the Tiger. Great, this thing. Um, I'm super happy because I paid my full price for this one on Show Z this week, which means it will be winging its way to me very soon. The more I see of it, the more I love it. I'm even starting to get a little down with the alt node now. It is starting to grow on me a lot. I'm looking more at the front rather than the back, and that's making me happier. I can also see how the transformation works, so I know I don't have to remove the head, even in the IDW stylings. There was also this super cool video done as well by Captain Pioneer as a bit of a reveal. If you like the look of it, go give him a like, a share, and a subscribe. And we're still not done talking about Cyclonuses because the long-awaited X-Transbots version of Cyclonus is up on Show Z right now. Uh, it's in stock, and yeah, I think it might just stay there. If Hasbro's self-transforming Optimus Prime is too much for you, then look at this Jada one. How cool is this? It transforms from a truck into a Prime in pretty much one step, and it does it in the box, and it works. It looks all right, doesn't it? It goes from a box to a box with some legs. Cool. Did you enjoy talking about Optimus Prime then? Good, because now we're right back with Hasbro and right back with Cyclonus. And when I saw this, I was like, oh yeah. Oh, this is perfect. I love the look of this. Love the recolor. Love the fact it's a deeper shade of purple. Everything to me looks on point. And I was just about to go and search for the pre-order button. And then, then I noticed something. I scrolled down and I noticed stickers. Stickers are the worst. And not only are they the worst, but Hasbro proves they're the worst because what is that? So you can see here that they have just stuck the undersized Decepticon logo over the oversized Decepticon logo. So the logo that you get as a sticker doesn't fit over the one on his chest, making it look absolutely awful. These stickers then to go on the leg are in such a placement that certain parts of the transformation or the accessories will not work correctly. This is another close up on my chest looking awful. This is the other leg. Nothing fits correctly or the person putting these stickers on is just as bad as I am. So for me, unfortunately, because Hasbro could not be asked, changing the deco on it and instead gave us some stickers, it's a no from me. So that's everything from me on this Saturday morning. I really hope that you like Cyclonus because today, I know, I spoke a lot about Cyclonus. So if you like Cyclonus, why not think about giving me a like, a share and a subscribe and maybe next week I'll talk some more about Cyclonus. Have a great weekend everyone and I'll see you in a bit. I right, peace.